Monday morning, what I like to call a Red Bull Caffeine Monday morning. Uh, we're heading to my Pittsburgh Training Center in Wexford, PA. Who do you have in your schedule today? So we got Heath Miller, Max Starks, James Harrison, Chris Kimuatu, and Willie Colon. Should be a good day. Go. Seven, seven, good, last one. Eight, eight, press to me. Nice. The biggest thing we look for is what is that, what are the athlete's weaknesses? Do they need mass? Do they need speed? Do they need strength? And everybody's different. Everybody who's in here today will be doing an individual program that's for them and for their needs. Oh. When I get ready to work with James, I'm preparing for an hour or two mental joust. Two, come on, man. It's up. You check my resume, man. It's good for a set. 20, here we go. No. Oh, 10, I'm sorry, I forgot. One, one, get it, get it, get it, get it. I'll get that one. You want me to get that one? I told you, if I don't say nothing, grab it. <laughs> you see it just from, you know, me and him joking around, but, um, you know, he has the desire to make you better. So if it's not broke, you know, I'm not going to fix it. There's not too many guys that can work out three or four hours a day as intense as he is. I mean, he's a guy who can, you know, close grip bench press 500 pounds, you know, at 250 pounds body weight. He's been training hard with me for about five or six years now. He just keeps adapting and adapting and getting better and getting stronger and getting faster. Uh, I mean, he's just an amazing guy. I'm in the car a, a ton, probably anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 miles a week, just basically going all over two states. Look, in my Cherry Hill facility today, we'll have Todd Harriman's, Winston Justice, and Jamal Jackson, all offensive linemen from the Eagles. Uh, Brent Selleck, one of their tight ends. Uh, AQ Shilfley, one of their centers. He's an ex-Penn State grad. He'll be in today, too. Uh, let's go uh, 10. Go. And with Todd, it's, he's a very big guy. He could typically handle heavy weights, but his range of motion is somewhat limited. So what I did with Todd is have him squat in the racks with the bands, where I give him a set point of that's as low as he can go. So I'm controlling his range of motion. We're always working on building muscle and keeping him fairly lean because he's a very athletic big guy. So your body produces energy in three ways. So aerobic, lactic, and alactic. Okay, so we do alactic, which is your stored energy, and lactic and then it's a little bit position specific based off of that. So if you like it, let's go over here, Mike. When I came in, Nick, my assistant said, hey, AQ's bringing Mike Bell today, and sure enough, Mike came in, and that was fantastic. Come on, come on. I found over my lifetime of doing this that running backs hardly ever do anything extra. Those guys seem to be so gifted naturally, and, and they get so banged up during the season. He said he was going to change my opinion on running backs. Go, 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 higher, high, high. Two, three. Uh, yeah, baby, that's your glute. Here we go. Woo! There you go. I feel like J-Lo right now. I'm hurting. I, didn't even, I know I didn't even do a full workout. I probably did four exercises, so, and I'm hurting. So next time I'll be prepared. And baby, I'll make it all the way through a full workout. You know, it's just what we do is just different. And to see his reaction to it, you know, I know he's going to wake up tomorrow and he's going to be really sore. Good, good weekend. You know, these guys are good guys. They come in and they work hard. It's very fulfilling to know that that you played some small part in them preparing and, and playing in that game. I tell my staff and myself when I wake up at 4.30 in the morning that, you know what, you got the best job in the world. And I really feel like I do.